Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about initialization and declaration pieces. Okay? So, this is our lecture number 8 and uh, let's proceed. Okay, right here we have our solution and the name folder of uh, lecture number 8. Then under the source files, right click on it, point to add, then click new item. And then we have the CPP uh, file under the source. We're going to replace this with some data underscore comprog2 underscore lecture 8 then you can click add next we need to zoom it so that we can uh, see all about the codings and let's proceed with the code so we have pound or sharp include io stream then we have using namespace standard or std then integer main as the main of the program then begin and end so right here we need to declare or this is the declaration pace in uh, program programming coding so in declaration we declare a variable for example integer as in uh, integer we have pamantayan integer we have grado integer we have pam bilang okay right now we already declared four variables as in integer data type and that is the declaration base after the declaration base we can have our okay so we have our initialization base so what we need to do is to copy the the variables that we did we declare so that is the this is my idea in programming so that uh, you cannot uh, have an error in terms of uh, the longevity of the program you created otherwise we encountered this before um, after a few years the program got an error because of there is no initialization so we put here as equal to zero so it identifies also as empty or null so they are the same but the encoding in C++ so it's better to put zero because that is the standard in C++ in C we can declare null okay so they are different in some of the syntax but right now we have this so after initialization phase we have the uh, processing phase okay so we have the processing in processing phase we're going to use the variable that we've initialized right here okay so what we need to do here is we need to copy paste this so that it is more faster than typing 
and then we're going to replace the variables okay by um, copying also okay so uh, if you're going to use uh, keyboard shortcut are more preferred um, because uh, it is more faster than using a mouse but uh, because of uh, the video it is very important that uh, I'm going to show it to you all of the way so there is no uh, boggling of mind in my coding so that's it so we have uh, declaration page initialization page and of course we have the termination page so this is the termination page okay so right here so return zero will terminate the the old program and go back to integer main and show the result okay so um, we're going to replace this also with the name of it okay so so it's already finished and uh, let's check out what would be the output of this so debug start without debugging okay we have here the output okay so that is the idea of why we um, declare uh, the variable and after that we initialize the variable okay so to identify the result of the initialization is correct so there's a what you call processing and uh, termination pace so we have four paces in uh, in programming don't forget that that is our topic for today so we have declaration pace initialization pace processing pace and termination pace that's all for today thank you and good luck